Hi, welcome to the snag. Tonight I've driven down to Bossington. It's my local beach, it's only a mile down the road. And uh, tonight I'm going to fish a bit that's not normally fished. It can be snaggy, so we'll be using rotten bottoms, more than likely. And uh, <clears throat> I expect to hopefully sort of like get some cod and some hus, which would be nice. Maybe a large eel as well. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get down now. I've got a 10 minute walk ahead of me and uh, I need to get the gear together. Okay, so... Nice little uh, codling bait tonight, I've got a little bit of squid, just a mantle. I don't bother with the head, I'll rip them out, leave a bit more scent out there. Crush them up like so. Walk them up. Okay, so, a good little uh, streamlined bait there. Nice. And then uh, with the hook, in through the top, out, put it through, back in through the same hole, and run it down again. The reason being I do that is one, it keeps the presentation good, it keeps the squid on well, but secondly, if you have something a bit toothy, just gives that uh, knot at the top of the uh, hook length a little bit more protection of the bait in the way. So, whip them a bit more elastic. There we are. One smaller cod belt. Putting that on a panel tonight. Sorry, um, not panel, um, a pulley rig. And it's just going to a six ounce weight. As you can hear, the sea behind me is a little bit of surf. Probably got about three foot of uh, hook length on there. Gemini splash down clip, nice and simple. Little pulley bead at the top. And there. There we go, just there. The squid is from a uh, speed bait in Minehead, Mikey Weber. Absolutely fantastic bay, sand eels, unbelievable. They don't split on nothing, much better than what I have been using with Devon baits and everything else. So uh, he will now be my uh, new full-time bait supplier. So the fish baits as well have been absolutely cracking as well. So have a look for him on Facebook, Speedbait, Mikey Weber. He also has a fishing charter when we're allowed, uh, Teddy Boy Charters. And his father, Steve Weber, his Osprey, Probably two of the best captains in Minehead. Definitely worth a visit if you're down this way. to actually uh, film the rod tips tonight with it being so black just can't get them highlighted enough for you but uh, give it a shot anyway the wind's starting to pick up a bit it's due to rain soon as well oh there we go finally got the rod tips in view so here I'm not casting far I've got the uh, first pulley bait out at about 60 yards and then the second one's about 40 probably somewhere around there so just to recap on the right it's a paternoster with a husk bait on with squid and uh, bluey that's down to a 3-0 paternoster and then on the left I've just got a simple pulley system with a 2-0 hook and a small squid mantle whipped up and uh, hopefully we'll see a cod on that one. And I forgot my head camera tonight, so um, 
you'll have to forgive me if we get a bite then I'll have to put the camera down and uh, I'll do the best I can to film it. The right one's going to bob a bit, it's just where the surf waves out there are hitting it hard and like I say it's a pyramid lead so it's allowed to roll around a little bit, there's a bit of depression there, it's not going to take me into a snag or anything here but Dare I say it, it's actually looking very bassy out there tonight. I've had a few good ones out of here, all between sort of four and seven pounds. Nothing record breaking, but always nice to see. So if you click uh, like and subscribe, let me know in the comments what you'd. Uh, like to see uh, fishing for. I was planning on going for a larger conga next week if possible, work allowing. Uh, obviously I've got to stick local still at the moment as we're in lockdown, but if I head over to the other side of Bossington, right down near the headland, it can be a bit snaggy but you can get some cracking eels there. Actually right, uh, I was going to go over there tonight for a huss, but I know that uh, my mate and uh, local young rod Josh White he's over there tonight after a spur dog so he's going to be sat in the position I want to be sat in but I hope he gets what he's looking for tonight was invited out with him earlier but I wasn't going to go out so this is the last minute thing I'm actually really gutted that the uh, wind has turned south. It doesn't tend to produce here too well on southerlies. It's meant to be uh, with a hint of west, but if anything, it's shot round to the uh, east. Definitely switching round to the east. It's even bloody worse. <laughs> Got a bit of fine drizzle. So, decided to make a coffee. I do watch, as soon as I bloody make a coffee, the first fish comes along. Hot coffee. One thing I have learned is uh, bring a cup that you can seal up because it's sod store. As soon as you pour one, bloody fish come up. You either end up throwing it away or it goes cold. Oh. 
As soon as you make a cup of coffee. Fish of the night, just a simple little doggy. It's got some nice markings about him. So with the dog out of the way, I suppose it's time to get some cod on our nuts. Good news, it's not blank. Not microphone. Don't want to lose that or break it. it. Okay, so same again. Squid mantle. These green uh, deer hunter jackets, fantastic. Cost of it, fantastic nonetheless. Didn't cost me anything, got it off the old man. Might look a bit of a burke, but at least you're nice and warm. Okay, so with this, just nipping off the tail, let it all lose out the end. I also uh, cut it down a little bit ago to a 30 centimetre hook length, so just 12 inches. I heard that's all you need. <laughs> Game change in a shorter hook length, it looks like it certainly helps. By doing that, it just makes the bait a bit more predictable where it is, doesn't flap about as much. But it's still enough that where the fish turns in the tide, it'll, uh, on that one, it definitely hooks itself. Smaller the fish, not so much, maybe. Certainly glad I bought the shell tonight. I was on an hour in, but so I just messaged Josh, and uh, it appears he's having dogs as well.
good buffer into the cards. Got three quarters of a bluey. Create a lot of stink. I'll cut that bit off that's spare. We're up ready for the next one. Okay, see the. Put it through the bottom of the drawer on the bluey and uh, roll it up, hook it halfway down the body, and then I'll cut off that excess bit and use that as another bait in a minute. So, that's that. And just trim it off beneath the hook. And then we've got. Good bluey bait that will proper stinky out there. That time again. Whip up another squid. I'll leave the head on it this time. The baits are just getting churned up out there hard. So hopefully this will just make it last a little bit longer. Fishy don't mind a bit of elastic. Okay. Squid's head. Uh, so, like so. And pull the line tight up through. Hold the head as you do it. Nice. And then uh, the hook sits nice and proud. The line runs through the bait. And I literally just whip up the uh, shank. Sink it into the squid of it, keep that hook proud, and the bait will move off it. Then. As you can probably hear, the wind's picking up a bit now, flapping the old uh, snow about. Things we do to go fishing. Coming early. 
worst case, that means I'm in for a dog in the brain. So. Alright, well the wind was a bit too crazy, so I had to switch things around, move the shelter around, move the rods around. Set it up with the weather forecast and it was blowing southwest when I got here, but hey ho, have to improvise. So, uh, if we do get something caught, you'll have to excuse me while I uh, quickly set up another camera or something. Half a ton of weed, and although tiny, one of the uh, species that I love after this evening. So, got ourselves a cute little bull hus. He is fiddly, really fiddly. But, uh, Greedy little bugger. <laughs> so, tiny little hus. One of what we came for. A hustler, even. <laughs> right, let's go get him back anyway. But perfect condition. Distance pays off, right? Throw the camera down. Lights down. Weather down. As long as it's not man down, I don't mind. Right. Okay, so. Couldn't film it because the cameras are going dead, but another little dogfish. Not a bad size one, it's about 53, something like that he was. Yeah, it's just wider than the uh, Shakespeare box. Longer even, not wider. <laughs> but, yeah. So uh, we'll get him back and uh, we'll see if anything else turns up. Lucky for me, I uh I've got to have a power bank with me, so a bit of power on the phone, we can film for a bit longer. There's some serious pull out there at the moment. The mono is definitely fair and better. And get little nips and plucks again, so it's either a bit of weed on there or I've got another tiny little fuss on there, so I'll pull it in and have a look. Oh.
normally do it like this on the boat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Deadly, deadly wrapped up. Let's uh, get it out. Weather-wise, rain. Winds died down a bit, which is nice. See if we see some fish on the ebb. That flood hasn't been too uh, productive. So, how's the fishing been uh, by you guys? Let us know. There is also uh, later in the year, planning out my uh, roving rods pieces for the Sea Angling newspaper. I'll be, uh, when it's allowed obviously, within tiers and whatnot, I'll be travelling round to do a few articles around the country. And, uh, pay a visit to uh, Dean down in East Sussex, West Sussex even, sorry. And uh, Jason Scott in uh, East Sussex, the Eastbourne Fishman. Uh, they've both got a YouTube channel, West Sussex um, Shore Fishing, I think it is, and Eastbourne Fishing. Well worth a look. Also, Dave Burst, he's got a nice channel too. So, I think I'm going to go do some tote fishing with Benito as well in you know, Wales, that'd be good. So, let us know when Benito, all good. I've got some skate planned in Scotland in the September, late September time. But again, obviously, COVID allowing. So if you'd like a roving rod piece done, let us know where you are. And uh, maybe we can do something together. I consider myself very lucky that Bossington is uh, my local beach. It's certainly... Um, one of my favourite marks in the channel, I must admit. You have to be careful here in rough weather. I mean, it is a big storm beach. I think it's the second steepest storm beach in Europe or something. And uh, Bristol Channel has the high, second highest rise and fall in the world. Second to the Bay of Fun Beach. It is. So, uh, yeah, you've got to be very careful around here. Be caught out only too quickly, especially on reef marks, it comes in behind you and stuff around there. A few fishermen have been caught out in the past and swept off bossy. If you don't know it, it's always advisable to seek out some local advice first. Craig Butler, Naked Angler, he's a brilliant shore guide. 
probably has the most information from I don't know where where he does it from. But either way, he's a very sure guy around here and full of info. So, I was saying earlier about Mermaid's purse around here. Here is some. So, they're normally always here. Plenty of it all along the beach. We'll go outside, but obviously it's peering down with a camera gear, it's not that clever. how short it goes. So. I highly recommend these if you travel fishing at all. About 139 quid. I know people that have pulled in sharks with these. And I remember seeing also some guy on um oh, where was it? I think it was World Fishing Forums. I think he said his mate was pulling in black tips with it as well. So that's two people that have pulled in sharks. I've pulled in rays and larger conga with it. Which won't fight anything like a shark, but for the money, cracking mud. All Fuji guides. It comes in a nice padded case. And it actually folds down to that bit. Not, not very big at all. So. So, all packed down. Sure, we're on, everything on there. It's time to pick up the rod and uh, Start a very wet walk back to the car. So, not a great night. Absolutely uh, hooned down, and uh, the rain and wind was pretty uh, horrendous. But either way, pulled out three fish. One of them was species wanted, although it was tiny. And uh, maybe we'll come out and get the unicorn next time. But that's it from the snag. Till next time, take it easy. <laughs>